Hi, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a website called Easily to create an infographic and I'm just going to provide you with an introduction to the features of the website so that you can start to experiment and create your own. The first thing you need to know is that you need to have registered with Easily before you can start to use it. So I'm going to log in. I've done this already. Your teacher will show you how to log in, uh, how to create an account and then you log, log in and then when you log in you reach a screen here where you can see any visuals or infographics that you've recorded. I haven't done any yet. I've deleted my previous one so I can start afresh. So it just says get started and below there these are infographics that other people have created and that you can use or adapt yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is click get started and the interface loads and this is the basic interface that you get with Easily. At the top you've got the option for home and this takes you back to the home page. If you haven't saved your work it, it, you will lose it so you, as it reminds you there don't forget to save it. You've got the option here to save what you've done and to give it a name. Open, if you've already saved some work, you can open it from within here. And then clear, if, you've, if you want to start over, you can just click clear and begin again. So, what you can do is you can start from a basic blank canvas or you can use one of the built-in themes. And I'm going to quickly show you the themes. If I click this button, it shows you a variety of different infographic styles that you might want to base your own infographic on. Now you will already hopefully have some idea of the kind of infographic you want to make. And you can see that there are different styles depending on the type of information that you're going to show. Now if I wanted to use any of these templates for my infographic, it would be very, very easy. All I would need to do would be to click, would be to actually just drag them onto the page. There's quite a few. Let's just show you what happened. For instance, if I like this one here, what I would need to do is drag that onto my page. It takes a little while to load the theme, but it should do it in just a second. There we go. That's done. And I can start, if I want to, to edit the items on there, move them around, change them about. Now, I think it's probably more work to edit a theme that someone else has made than to start afresh. So I'm going to show you just quickly how to make a simple infographic we'll start over so I'm going to go clear and clear the canvas so I've got a blank canvas here and we've looked at themes but I can add other things onto my canvas to start building it the canvas is the page that you're going to make your infographic on so I can click objects and that gives me access to a whole bunch of different type of images that I might want to use, things like animals, banners, food, you can see icons, landmarks, and there's quite a few provided for you and they're really good as well. Backgrounds, I'm going to use that in a minute, I can choose the background that I want on my canvas so I'm not just stuck with a plain white background. I've got shapes, so all kinds of shapes again already built in and I could use these easily in any infographic that I created. I've got lines as well that I can connect, circles, text, Again, main text, a title or a heading. And then if I can even upload images that I've saved myself. And you may have created things like charts or found images that you want to upload to your infographic. So that's a really nice feature. I'm going to start just with a plain background. So I'm going to go background. And I like this kind of blue background here. And I'm just going to drag it onto my screen. And there's the background for my infographic. Um, I'm going to do an infographic, I don't know, I've um, just been watching the Olympics, so I'm going to think about maybe a sport based one, so I'm going to go text, add a title, and you see I just drag it on where I want it to go, and I just double click to change the title text, and the toolbar changes now to reflect that. So if I just double click on there, and in the box I'm going to write um, favourite now I'm just making this up as I go along. I can change the colour of that. I don't like 
the black on the blue. I'm going to change that to a nice light blue. And if I wanted to, I could change the font as well. I'm going to change it to Helvetica. And I can drag it to make it nice and big. Favorite sports. Now, I like that so far. That's okay. I can also zoom in on my canvas or zoom out so I can get, have a better idea of what it looks like. And I can put a grid, switch a grid on if I really want to make sure I've lined things up properly. If, you really, if you're working with graphics and you want to make sure that things are centered properly, that's a nice little feature. So what I'm going to do now is add some images. So I'm going to go to objects and in the people, I already know that I've got quite a few images that are built in. So I'm going to drag, I've got an image there of a footballer. Um, I'm going to go for a runner. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, Golfer. Now, there's not every sport here, but I'm only making an example. Uh, what else have we got there? Basketball. To, we'll do. We'll do basketball. And there you see, I need to zoom out so I can fit this onto the page better. By the way, I can also obviously if the, if the pictures are the wrong size, and I think they are, so I can and scale them just like if I was working with clip art. Clip art pictures work far better than photographs in infographics, by the way it's very rare you see infographics used. Now I know I've only got uh, photos used in infographics. Now I know I've only got a few there, but that's, but that's fine. I'm only doing this as an example. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some shapes now. And what I'm going to do to, I'm going to make up, by the way, these statistics. I've got some. I'm going to put some statistics on next to each of the sports. So I'm going to go. I'm going to use a football here. I'm going to stretch that out there, and you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. I'm going to change the colour of that to white, and then I'm going to add another shape. I'm going to do the same one. under here that one's not quite as long I'm going to make the arrow length of the arrow represent how many people said they liked each sport so it makes it really visual because remember one of the things we want about our infographic we want the information to be really easy for somebody to understand without having to spend a lot of time reading the information on the page okay so I'm just going to shrink that down. Right, and then I'm going to add a bit some more text. I am doing just an example. Remember, this is a very basic example. So I'm going to click in my box. I'm going to say, right, 60%. And then I want to change the colour. I'm going to go for yellow. I think that looks pretty clear. And then another bit of text going in there. And that's going to be the next percentage. And you can see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just keep adding text until my infographic's finished. Let's say that one was 25 again I'm going to make it yellow it's a good idea by the way in fact I'm going to do this now to save because we're working online I'm going to give it a title favorite oops go back in there a bit of a problem on my keyboard all of a sudden never mind Delete this. Fave sports. And then I've saved it. Okay, now that's done. 
yeah because we're working online if you lose your web connection or something goes wrong with the internet you could easily lose your work so it's even more important when you're working on an online app like easily to make sure that you save your work regularly All right, so let's put a little bit of text here 25 percent Uh, and then what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to stop in a second just to give us a chance to look at what we've done. Now here is where I'd probably switch the grid on and I would start to tidy my infographic up. So you can see here I can start to use the lines to align all of my elements. Okay, and put them so that they look relatively um, so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a, a banner on here as well because what I, I just want to add a piece of information about the source of my information for this infographic and I think that's quite important so in my use header I'm going to make a note drag that on top and notice that my header is on top of my banner and I'm just going to say fourth Year 7, 2012. I know it isn't really, but, but obviously that's where you would mention your sources. So we know where they've come from. I'm going to make the box just a little bit bigger. Okay, and that in, would take about five minutes just to do that. And that's not a bad start. So what we've what we've done is we've created an infographic from scratch. We've learned how to add a built-in theme or to start from a clear canvas. We know how to add backgrounds and shapes, upload if we want to, images of our own, add text and include objects such as people, icons, banners, etc. So if I just now go to save again, I'm going to save my work tells me when I last saved it okay that's saved perfectly and I go back to home now leave the creation tool and what I will see is my infographic so far okay and then if I want to go back into that next time I can do that I open it up and I can start to edit it if I want to um, one useful thing when we finished by the way if I click the share option I can do several things with it and it's important that we look at this I can delete the infographic if I don't like it I can choose who can view it so this means if people visit the easily website will they be able to view your work and you may want to keep that private at the moment if I had a website, I could embed it into the website using this tool, view it in the browser, or, and this is what you'll want to do when you're finished, you might want to download it. So I click, I'll click download, and it would allow me to save this as an image, which we could then use any way we wanted to. And then at the end, don't forget to log out, and you're done. So that's a, sh a short introduction to easily and how to create your own infographic. Have fun, remember the rules of what makes a good infographic and try and create something that looks really good all of your own.